pay very close attention because what I'm about to tell you is unfortunately 100% real, extremely fucked up, and emblematic of a deeply troubled sentiment within Israeli society. So, first off, just to set the stage, nine IDF soldiers were convicted of gang raping and abusing a Palestinian prisoner whose injuries were so bad he had to be hospitalized. To be specific, the soldiers inserted sticks into the guy's rectum, which resulted in some pretty serious injuries and I'm sure a life filled with trauma ahead of him. Now, just a couple days ago, in a meeting of Netanyahu's Likud party in Israel, lawmakers shouted angrily at each other about whether or not raping a Palestinian was, quote, legitimate. One man asked, quote, to insert a stick into a person's rectum, is that legitimate? To which another man shouts, yes, if he is a Nukba, meaning Hamas, everything is legitimate to do. Everything. And unfortunately, it did not stop there. Yesterday saw massive protests in Israel in defense of the rapists. Take a look at some of these scenes here. And I guess after the IDF had had enough of the protests, they actually went ahead and released the guys, who are now convicted rapists walking around as free men in Israel. Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, I wanted to dig into how anyone could justify this and what mindset you must have to behave this way. Primarily, you must believe that Palestinians have inherently less value as humans than Israelis, because if Israelis are raped, then they use it as justification for bombing civilians in Gaza, but if Palestinians are raped, then the rapists become some sort of war hero. This dehumanization is systematic, incredibly widespread, and becoming more obvious by the day. The double standard is insane. Well, Hamas killed innocents on October 7th, so we must now go kill innocents in mass. Ridiculous, unacceptable, and absolutely disgusting that a movement like this could get so much backing in modern society. In my eyes, this is emblematic of a deep, deep problem in the heart of Israeli society. And you know what? I like to... Uh, I like to find every opportunity possible to make this point, and I know I sound like a broken record, but if Hamas is so subhuman and evil that they deserve to be raped, then why is Netanyahu's policy that, quote, anyone who wants to thwart the establishment of a Palestinian state must support bolstering and transferring money to Hamas? Oh, and let's not forget the New York Times article reporting that, quote, Israel drove suitcases stuffed with cash into Gaza to keep Hamas in power. In that case, why is Netanyahu funding the same people his society believes have so little value as humans that their rape is considered a moral virtue? Again, just an unbelievably disgusting thing going on here, and unfortunately, not many people will talk about this, so I wanted to make sure to bring it up. Stay safe out there, much love, and uh, peace out.